Hello there, World of Tankers. Welcome to the channel. I'm, of course, your host, Digital's Blitz, and in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the newest and largest map ever in World of Tanks Blitz for update 8.8 .8 being Holland. Now, I'm excited for this map, but also very, very worried. I mean, look at the sheer size of this map. Normally, maps are about, I would say, half the size, but over here, we have heavy side. Obviously, the town is where the heavies would most likely push. My guess for spawning points is like this here could be a spawning point for Team A or whatever, and they'd come out of here. And if you're going heavy side, then it's a long trip. You're going over here, but a dee, la da do, still going down the road, and you've made your way to the town. Now, there's multiple branches of areas in the town you can push. There's this area here, and there's little bits of rubble just like in Himmelsdorf, so you can use hull down positions, hide your weak spots. Let's say I'm using a 5A or an IS7, hide your weak lower plates, use your gun depression, and boom. The enemy obviously has one right there as well. You can also push further into the town, and you've got more rubble over here, but the spot I'm probably going to be pushing most of my fast heavies is right into this position where you can work hull down. You can see that you do need a bit of gun depression here, so you can work your heavies at a good gun depression, maybe your Yo, E5s, all in the hull down situations here, and try and beat the enemy. Unfortunately for you, if the enemy decides to do the same thing, you're going to be in for one nasty treat, because you're going to have to fight them for this corner of the map. It's a very tricky looking position, maybe off the side scrape off of these buildings, but yeah, there is a lot to this town. There are many positions you can work, right here looks pretty good with this bit of rubble. I'm not really sure where I'm going to be pushing my heavies all to yet, because I haven't played on this map yet, I'm going to have to see where teams go. But heavy side is pretty self-explanatory. There's not much to this. It's very similar looking to Alpenstadt, some other towns we've had. It's really when we break into the medium side that this map gets truly monstrous. Now, for Encounter, the base cap is in the middle. I haven't looked at what this looks like with Supremacy yet, but yeah, with Encounter, it's in the middle. My guess for Supremacy is we have a base back there. And we have a base in the middle, and then we have a base in town. But yeah, this is a huge map. So there's multiple areas I've thought about running mediums and tank destroyers so far. Let's start off with the TD spots, because tank destroyers are quite easy to run, and no. This bush right here looks absolutely brutal. If you're running a pretty accurate TD, maybe a grill or a 268... From this bush, you've got clear shots on all the mediums if they decide to poke anywhere over here. I mean, you've got some really good shots on the bridge. And even if you need to poke a little bit, you can come over towards this side of the map and get some nice shells in because you can just walk over here. So that looks like a very, very strong bush for a tank destroyer. This, yeah, I wouldn't suggest to do that. Literally just a lone bush out in the open. The other bush that looks pretty nice, there's one over here you could work. But this one up top by the pillbox, man... Does this bush look incredibly strong? From over here, again, you have a fantastic view of a large part of the map. You can look all the way over to this part and across the entire medium flank. So, yeah, this bush is exactly the same on the other side of the map as well. You get some pretty nice positions over here. So it looks like these are going to be some very strong spots. That's that same pillbox bush right there. So I'm very excited to try out the bushes, and that would be the other one I was talking about. But, yeah, for tank destroyers, it doesn't seem too bad, at least for the medium flank. For heavy side, I wouldn't really suggest to run tank destroyers all too often over here because you'll notice there's not really many spots you could go. I mean, this is an okay position here. You could run a TD. Maybe you'll get like a shot on a heavy that decides to poke. But unless you're in, let's say, like an Object 268 version 4 when it's released, a Badger or an E3, which you'd probably be running up in the front line using your gun depression, I'd suggest more often than not you'd just be pushing your tank destroyers over to bushes like this over here or, you know, spots where you can actually get shots into the mobile medium tanks that are going to flank you if you don't. Now, when it comes to mediums, there are a lot of positions. First of all, we've got a couple haul down spots here. You might be able to work this position if you're in an STV-1, M48 Patton, and you've got enough gun depression to work it. Might be able to get some nice crossing shots in early on in the early game, which is what I might do. I might spawn in and try and get over here as quickly as possible to get some shots into the mediums as they cross over towards this part of the map. As well, we've got the encounter spot over here. Might be able to push a medium or a haul down heavy into this position, try and counter anybody that goes here. Although I'm not too sure about this current position because it seems just like pushing to town and then being able
able to sit here hull down would be much more beneficial, but that's just my opinion. Obviously, this map hasn't really been explored yet. But when we come over here, this is where medium side gets really nasty. It's kind of like Fort Despair, where you push all the way off to the side, and you've got this very large open area here where vehicles that have the height might be able to shoot you. You know, if you're on top of this hill, you might be able to peek over, get some very easy shots on these mediums here. So it's very weird how this part of the map works. If you're in a medium and you push to like this rock here, you're kind of isolating yourself to be killed. Like, sure, you might have some nice shots, but really all you need to do in a tank destroyer is sit right in that bush and you have clear shots all the way through here. And you can even sit a light tank or a medium in that spot. I mean, T100 LTs, light tanks, now that this map is so large, might actually be very influential. I'm not sure if this is going to be a competitive map in the game. It most likely will be, judging that Ghost Factory is. So we're going to have to see how this works out in the future. But yeah, this, this looks very, very tricky and engaging when it comes to playing on this map. So let me know what all you think about Holland in the comments, because I am mixed opinions. I think that the only issue for this map is it's very large. World of Tanks PC has double the players, which means that each flank of the map, you know, let's say like this is PC, well, each flank of the map can have, let's say, seven heavies and seven mobile tanks, you know, and then you got two or three tank destroyers, whatever. Just imagine it's an even split of vehicles. Well, the issue here is that you're only going to have, like, two or three heavies, and then at the same time, like, one or two mediums and a tank destroyer or two. Most of the time, you even have three tank destroyers. I find this map, personally, to be too large for Blitz. I think that there's not enough tanks and there's too much area for vehicles to play. I think that mobile tanks are going to have such an advantage on this map over heavy tanks that it's not even going to be fair if you're running a mouse or an E100. Like, sure, you can win the town, but as soon as you win the town, you literally have to drive for ages, even if you go down the center road while you're exposing yourself to all the tank destroyers. I don't know. This map personally seems too big for me. There's a reason why large maps shouldn't exist in Blitz, and it's mainly because there's not enough players. If they made it 10 by 10 or 12 by 12, I think you'd be fine. But uh, that, that's the only issue I have. Maybe Wargaming could make this into like a grand battle map. That would be cool. What if Wargaming did make a 15 versus 15 format where it's a special game mode or something like that? I don't know. But either way, this looks interesting to me is a good way to word it. I think this map is too big. I'm excited for it. And I'm not going to say too many things about it until it is finally released because I can't really put my formal opinions out. But I don't know. I mean, I think very good players are going to make a huge impact in this game, especially if they're in lights like the T100LT or the Vickers, where they can use their immense spotting range, get some good shots off early on the enemy mediums, win the flank, and then push up behind the heavies. I think that if there's maybe two supremacy caps in the town, it would give the heavies a massive advantage. So I hope that's how it is, because, you know, if there's a supremacy cap here and there, then really the heavies could just cap these two bases and force the mediums, which have all this area, to actually have to push in, giving the heavies an advantage. But for encounter, it doesn't look like that's the case. Either way, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to see more like it, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below. And other than that, as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.